power of clearance. Rana anticipated that with the first touch. He looked to finish. But one v one against the keeper, you would have expected him to at least hit the target. First big chance of the game goes Pakistan's way, and it goes a begging. Rana did score a goal last evening. That seemed like a much tougher goal as opposed to this, but that's how the cookie crumbles. Pakistan, we made to rule that missed opportunity for lead time. We'll tell China, of course, looking to make some forward runs. Had the benefit of a couple of forward passes. While this may not technically be a do or die picture for them, they would need this win. Because all they have managed so far is a loss and two draws. They still are in pursuit of their first win. That's a nice aerial, but wasn't shot by Rana. He's the man who missed an opportunity in a one-on-one -on -one situation. This man will be another important link, Akil. I like this though from uh, Pakistan. They are looking to press high. They are looking to put pressure, early pressure, on uh, the Chinese uh, defense. That is a technical bench. Uh, Murgapan, Digvijay Nayak, and uh, Hideki Kinoshita from uh, Japan. Digvijay Nayak and uh, Murgapan, of course, uh, from India. Changli and Lin uh, looking to start uh, things quickly for China, has to drag it back. The line keeps going back to that chance, I don't know what a chance it was uh, for Pakistan to take the lead. Zikriya Hayat, full of running as he was in the last match. Rana looks to play that uh, direct pass to Abdul Rahman. He's been one of the impact players for Pakistan in the forward line, Abdul Rahman. He flicks as well, I haven't seen uh, that, but uh, he does line up alongside the batteries and I've seen him flick uh, pre-match as well during the warm-ups. He's got a good flick on him, but uh, Sufyan has got a goal, he must be high on confidence and uh, you would imagine that they would back him. Abdul Rana has an opportunity, he's created the first penalty corner of the game. That is so well done by Abdul Rahman. The ball came in, he knew he could not have, he did not have enough space to get the shot away. The next best thing is to create a penalty corner, that's exactly what he did. Siddharth, also our resident oracle, called it right. And fair play too because Abdul Rahman has been one of the brightest stars of this Pakistan setup. The forward line largely comprises a young unit and it's usually Umar Bhutta who provides the team with the injection, the captain once again the injector here as well. In the first battery, Ashwin I was just talking about Abdul Rahman getting an opportunity. He has got an opportunity. It's a good flick, but it is straight on Caillou Wang and uh, the attack is still alive. Finally, it uh, comes to an end uh, with the form that Caillou Wang is in. You'll have to do better than that to beat him. But the power on the flick by Abdul Rahman was good. It was uh, too central to get a goal. Caillou Wang is uh, not going to make uh, those kind of errors uh, with the quality that he's shown us. But it's a good positive start uh, by Pakistan. They're not hanging around here. They're going for the win. They're going for the early goal. China need to settle quickly. Omar Bhutta gets the foul. Looks to start uh, things off uh, quickly. Zikri Ahyad still keeping possession. Shahid Hanan looks for uh, a rather fancy pass. He's lost possession. Uh, this is the threat now. China on the counter are not an easy team to contain. They still have the ball. Wei Jiangzhu has been uh, bundled over. He has runners in front of him. If he chooses them, he's gone for the aerial. It's a very good aerial. Unfortunately, cannot uh, keep that in play. Watch out for him when China get uh, a penalty corner. What a goal he scored, uh, Ji Sheng Gao against India. Kumar Bhutta thinks about the aerial and uh, sees the space that he has ahead of him and delays the pass. 
finally finds Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman goes right back. It's a good start for the youngster. A good thinking too from Abdul Rahman. Always manages to create some space. Manages to find some wiggle room. Sneak out of a crowded defensive area. What I also was particularly impressed by was how Pakistan regrouped when China went on the counter. You saw enough white and green shirts in the Pakistan half looking to somehow restore a sense of balance. This is going to be arduous for China. Make no mistake about that. They will have only one more match remaining after this. They will take on uh, Japan, their final league fixture. Abdul Rahman has uh, just gone out to take a breather. He has been replaced by Afraz. Afraz has been the usual starter for Pakistan in the centre forward position. He's now come in for the first time. That's a switch. That's a great switch. Hey, Tashaam Aslam has made uh, no mistake in trapping that. Will look for a circle entry, but that is very well defended using all his experience. It was uh, Wei Bao Ao. Beijing. Tackle is good, is the call by Sean Rappaport, which allows us to play on. Afraz, it's too long for him. Pakistan still may get possession. Unable to do so it's again. Why bow wow? And it will be a Chinese ball. So far, Pakistan have kept the ball in the Chinese half for the most part. That's a little sloppy once again. Could probably attribute it to a little bit of anxiety given how high Pakistan's forwards are pressing. Another circle that she made, but a little too wide of Abdul Rana. He's not able to put the stick on the ball. But that was ambitious and that was a clever pass in the end. Not get that ball down, otherwise would have been a good attack for the Chinese themselves. This was the other attack. Uh, Shahid Anan runs with the ball, gets the circle entry, but uh, the pass is not accurate. Had an option, Shahid Anan. Sufyan. Usama Bashir. Defenders Umar Buddha and stays back to receive that ball just like that. Sufya Usama Shahid. Look how deep uh, Shahid Hanan has come because uh, China are quite compact at the moment. Pretty much man to man, and it's uh, pretty much a low block by China. It's too much on that area, really. nobody will be bringing that down. This is a good uh, outcome for China. They won the ball, and they can start. Uh, Chin Wang will be happy with the organization his team have shown so far, but uh, they need to create more in attack because they need a win much more than Pakistan do. only positive result, if you may call it that way, that's gone in favour of China has been a draw. That's the best they've managed all tournament. They have endured two losses. Pakistan once again mixing up their attacking variety. That's a good ball from Abdul Rana. Couldn't intercept it on that occasion. Afraz. It's been an intriguing first quarter. Pakistan have had the edge over China. Sean Rappaport has just given a penalty corner. It's the second for Pakistan. And uh, it's a big opportunity for them to take the lead. Let's have a look at uh, why that was given. I believe the whistle had gone and it was played after that. 100% a penalty corner, absolutely no problem. The first foul had gone when uh, the foul had taken place inside the 23 meter area. And uh, you are not 
allowed to tackle unless the ball has traveled five meters. So Pakistan have another opportunity here. Sufyan, it is on the second battery, a much more central angle for him. Will that be the option? Yes, it is. Sufyan, that's good running. It's a good line run by the Chinese. Still a long corner for Pakistan. Comfortable right now in their defensive shape. Looking to force the issue, Pakistan with their circle entries. That's a great bit of skill. China can now break. There is a lot of space on the left hand side. It's a 3v2. China have a circle entry. That is very brave defending. You have to give credit to Mohammad Khan. Let's have a look at the penalty corner. Sufyan, very central. And a very good line. And uh, this was the attack uh, by China. Mohammad Khan, it was who came across and blocked that shot, which was uh, taken by Ben Hai Chen. Good defending, brave defending. But that is the threat as Pakistan go chasing that first goal. Nothing wrong with that. And it will be Chinese free out. I just got the feeling that Ben Hai Chen delayed the backhander just a trifle. Oh, once again sloppy from the Chinese. What was to be a regulation trap? Wang Tin get it in a circle entry from Pakistan. And dangerously from the back line. Drifting in. China first need to find a way to hold possession because Pakistan are pressing high. Pakistan are finding a way to force mistakes of the Chinese. Look at that. That was a 3v1 situation that the Chinese defender found himself in. And no easy forward passes as well. Very good organization from Pakistan. They're homing in on the Chinese. Like Siddharth mentioned, have been a few man-to-man -man marking situations as well. Pakistan have got opportunities. They've made uh, multiple penalty corners. Been able to get that goal though, which would put real pressure on China. So it is a must-win game for them if they are to make, uh, make it to the last four. Omar Buta. Omar drives with the ball. Zikri Ahayat has such ability to run with the ball, Zikri Ahayat. He's found a good pass. That's very good skill. That is excellent skill. Have a circle entry. But uh, first, you have to give credit to Mohamed Ahmad. From the left line, the way he ran and cut in with that ball it was excellent to see. Players who made their debut for Pakistan here at the Hero Asian Champions Trophy. One of the three who did that, Mohammad Ahmad. They'll be happy with what they've seen. Mohammad Sakhain and Rehan, but there's one problem that is not being corrected, Arun, and that is the problem of Pakistan converting their chances, especially their open chances. But that's one of the things that Mohammad Sakhain has been laboring on about. And this is a variation that we have seen quite a bit. Every time they have had an opening, they go for the big aerial cross field ball. They are trying to mix up their passes. Once again, Hanan giving Etesham the ball. Circle entry has been made. Enough yellow shirts there. An opportunity for a penalty corner not to be. Stick check, unfortunately. China have absorbed all the early pressure so far. Pakistan has uh, piled on them. They have defended successfully their penalty corners. Had one opportunity, a good opportunity, China. But uh, thanks to some brave defending by Mohammad Khan, they couldn't get the shot away. 
played it forward. It's brilliant. There's another circle entry, but uh, went for the slap shot. Uh, there was Ren Hui E. You know the threat uh, that Ren Hui E possesses. Did ever so well to cleanly trap that ball and get behind the defensive lines. Finish the quarter strongly. Sufyan has not caught his foot. He's made an error. Luckily, Umar Huda is there to mop up. Ruman. Ruman. Finds uh, Shahid Hanan but uh, can't receive the ball. Shahid Hanan. That's possibly happened for the second or the third time today. Pakistan have attempted a few ambitious passes. Sometimes even straight forward ones, but they have missed out. But an engaging first quarter comes to an end where Pakistan did show their wares, did intimidate China quite a bit, but China did absorb the blows and held on. At the end of the first quarter, China and Pakistan are nil nil. Yeah, if you look at the highlights, plenty of the play was orchestrated by Pakistan, but an opportunity none better than that from Abdul Rana. Pakistan did receive a few penalty corners, the first of which was stopped by China's Kayu Wan. But there were opportunities to conjure up a few field goals but this pass was thwarted them. This was China's best opportunity perhaps. A little bit of a delay in unleashing the backhander. Another chance after a defence splitting pass. China couldn't quite seal the deal. And the Pakistan's coach will uh, be a little more content. The new hero Zoom of course has industry first features like corner bending lights for dark and tricky turns. Segment first features like fastest acceleration going from 0 to 60 kilometers per hour in 9.35 seconds and bigger wider tire it's for every terrain. The stadium is of course bigger, wider and more beautiful. The Mayor Radha Christian Stadium is now lit up and we see a near full house which is guaranteed to be a full house as India take on Korea later tonight at 8.30 p.m. local time. A lot of the old timers here will remember fondly the India versus Korea the final in the 2007 Asia Cup. We have many of our dignitaries here who have graced the occasion with their valuable time. The 7-2 finish at Prabhjot's raised hands. They form an indelible memory to hockey fans in Chennai. But now is the time to make new memories as the second quarter action begins. Zixiang Guo looks to play forward. Uh, Chong Kong Chen plays it inside. Good combinations uh, by China. Managed to keep possession. Zixiang Guo come all the way back uh, to Chen Feng uh, Chen. It's still a higher press uh, from Pakistan. Trying to seize the initiative is Pakistan. China. It will be a Pakistan ball. Looking for penetration there, couldn't get it. Umar Bhutta starts quickly. Pakistan can now break. They have players. Nofraz, Shahid Hanan and Mohammad Ahmad. Pakistan have a circle entry. Nothing wrong with that. Well defended by China and they can now launch a counter-attack of their own. Ben Hai goes wide. They have such Lay pace, on. the Chinese Lay attackers. Zikriya Hayat. Already China are trying to stifle the Pakistan forward line just a little more. We didn't see enough of that in the opening quarter. But here's the golden boy. Abdul Shahid Hanan into the circle. An opportunity. A referral has been sought, has it? No, but there's been an injury. I think it's a prize. 
who seems to be hurt. Uh, what a run this was by Shahid Hanan. Took on three Chinese defenders, then released as soon as the fourth came to tackle. And yes, that's caught Afraz uh, on the face. Mohamed Ahmad it was uh, with that attempt on goal. Afraz is still down. Just hope he is uh, okay. We won't start. Raz needs a stretcher because he got hit in the head, Arun, from a very uh, close range. Okay. Yeah, that is straight yeah. on his face, unfortunately, by Mohamed Ahmad. What an opportunity, though, again uh, for Pakistan. Shahid uh, Hanan cutting it from the right, beating three Chinese defenders, and then as soon as the fourth came to tackle, released it at just the right time. Mohamed Ahmad. Uh, couldn't put that chance to bed. It's good to see that Mohamed Ahmad was also being comforted by his teammates because he, he seemed a little shaken up too. There is obviously and, going know, to be a sense of guilt you know, even if it's something that was obviously not intentional. When you see your teammate, you see any player go down like that in a heap, you are bound to be a little rattled. And good that some of the senior players stepped in to offer words of reassurance to Hamad but because there is treatment that's needed as well. Unfortunately he's been stretched off. Abdul Rahman is uh, coming to take his place. Such an important player of Raz and he's been making some very good combinations with Rana and Shahid Hanan in the forward line. Mohamed Ahmad, that's who the chance fell to. A little bit of blood on the pitch, which has uh, just been cleaned. As soon as that is done, we'll be all set to go again. <laughs> Our thoughts, of course, with Afraz. We hope that he has a speedy recovery and is back on the pitch as soon as he realistically can. But for the moment, Pakistan need to regroup. So do China. China have shown a little more intent in the second quarter. It's imperative for them that they continue to press on because this is a must-win encounter. If they lose this, they are out of reckoning for the top four position and the semi-final spot. Kumar Buddha. Looks for the aerial, looks for Mohamed Ahmad. Ahmad brings that down. He's playing with a lot of confidence for a very young player just broken onto the international stage is uh, Muhammad Ahmad, Umar Bhuta, Sufyan. Sufyan with a big aerial finds uh, Shahid Hanan who can't keep that in play. He's lost a bit of rhythm in the last couple of minutes of uh, Pakistan. They need to recompose themselves. Abdul Rahman with the press. China to play this out of defense. Bora Pakistani touch. That's the bench. China with another attack. Sufia, good interception by him. He's got players, he's got runners on either side. He's found Mohamed Ahmad. It's not a clean trap. Zishiang Guo. Tackle and it would be a Pakistan ball. Starting really quickly is Pakistan. Uh, Shahid Hanan looking for a circle entry will be a long corner. Every time they push up, every time they create an attack, uh, Pakistan will feel that they should get a good outcome. Here the Shah Maslam travel with the ball five meters. Uh, that's a penalty corner that's been put out deliberately by Chang Liang Lin. Unnecessary. Lei Meng, it was uh, the number 21 for China. Quick thinking, first of all, uh, by Ayatish Amaslam. Did not put the ball in, immediately travelled with the ball 5 meters. And when he was sure that the ball has travelled, 
the right. distance necessary. Yes. It's only then that he played it in and forced the mistake from Lei Meng. Penalty corner for Pakistan. All right, guys, we've still got 10 seconds, huh? What? What? Wait, please. It's the captain once again who's whistle providing whistle the injection. Whistle Omar Ghutta. Chinese, I think, have broken the line too early and they will be defending with a player less. The guilty party is Cheng Fu Chen, I believe. Okay, let's go please, White. Thank you. Even better opportunity and uh, Ede Shah Maslam took instructions from the bench. He's come back in. I believe he's relayed them to his teammates. Sufyan goes for the flick, gets the goal. Pakistan are ahead. They've got the goal that they wanted, but the Chinese have gone for an appeal. They are saying it's dangerous. It's above the knee, is what the Chinese are appealing. And it's got a touch on the way to the goal. You, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear. We got a team referral from China. They're asking for a dangerous shot at goal. I've given the goal. They're looking for a dangerous ball. Correct. Look. Right, the on-field decision is a goal from Sean Rapopo, but the appeal from the Chinese is alluding to danger. Is that a dangerous lift? It seems to be above the knee, but uh, that's not the point, Aaron. The point is, did that touch the Chinese player? If it's gone straight in, it's a goal. There is absolutely no problem with that. And uh, that's what it looked to the naked eye. I thought it's gone straight in. I thought it was a clean flick. And Kayu Wang could not keep it out. But has this touched the Chinese player? If it has touched okay, him have, on the way... I have it, season coming. That's dangerous, I think. Sean, there is no clear situation change in this season. Your decision stand, the goal, and Chinese lose the referral. Thank you. Unfortunately for China then, if it had touched the Chinese player, there's no way you could say from that replay. It's a clean flick, according to our replays as well, according to the video umpire as well. Sufyan's goal will stand. It is the opening goal of the game. And uh, difficult to say from up here, of course, Arun, but it did look like a clean flick, I have to say. Yeah, certainly the... Video umpire seem to agree with your thoughts as well. Sofia having the perfect track flick, flick. Literally a case of third time lucky for Pakistan as they convert their third penalty corner. China now have plenty of catching up to do. An aerial cross field but easily intercepted by Pakistan. Omar Buddha will once again look to spearhead the attack from midfield good run again Pakistan making some good forward passes too they are but uh, that final pass uh, by Shahid Hanan probably he could have taken a touch instead of playing that first time on the Shah Maslam was not in the right position you see that uh, they need to defend here the ball is coming in Sufyan is seeing it all the way Yes, he has done well. Ede Shah Maslam is up ahead of him. He's looked for the ball down the line. Before Shahid Hanan could track back and receive that, that's gone beyond the sideline. He's got a goal now in consecutive games, Sufyan. Leon! Took a while for him and Pakistan's penalty corner routine to get going, but now they have. Excellent defending once again from Pakistan. Clean track. Sufyan again. It was him, it was him, Arun. Pakistan are looking to press on. Once so again, switching flanks with these. 3v1. But somehow, Abdul Shahid Hanan managed to hold on. Not for too long. They've got the goal that uh, they wanted, Pakistan. It's how they manage the situation that is the key for me now. I remember, China played yesterday. 
They did not give up. They kept fighting. They were in the game, created chances of their own. First minute to the last, there was no moment in that match against Korea that you felt that they were out of the contest. So they're not going to go away anytime soon. They're going to keep fighting. Zikriya Hayat has stolen the ball. That is a great steal by Zikriya Hayat. He's found Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman goes for goal. Does not get it because it's a great save by Kai Yu Wang. He left his line, came out, shut down the angles and made a save that has kept the score line at 1-0. Well done to Kai Yu Wang. China looking to launch a counter-attack of their own. Zikriya Hayat has been so effective in midfield. Umar Bhuta spreads it wide, finds Arshad Liakat. Arshad Liakat finds Ruman. Nathish Aslam has won it back for Pakistan. Rana. Umar Bhuta looks for the shot aerial. Nathish Aslam, as he always is, finds himself in space but goes right behind. This is good management. I had asked uh, what kind of management will we see from Pakistan. They're keeping the ball better. The ball speed is good. The attacking organization seems good. There's no impatience with the ball. Abdul Rahman turns. Excellent tackle uh, by China. Now they can uh, launch a break of their own. No, they cannot. Nehra Shah Maslam. No stick check. Surely that's a stick check. Yes, it is. Pakistan uh, will take their time over this. Arshad Liakat puts the ball in. It's a circle entry and it's a penalty corner. China, remember, have lost their review. Correct, correct. And he's playing in space. That man must stay out. Yeah. to see this review, the Chinese yeah. are not happy with that decision. They are saying the ball was raised from outside the penalty circle. This is uh, the first chance for Abdul Rahman. What a save that is uh, from Kai Yu Wang. Got enough on that and here the ball is definitely raised from here. And uh, to say from that exactly uh, why that's a penalty corner. But uh, China need to defend uh, that. Defend that cleanly, otherwise they will be 2-0 behind. Sufyan, that's a very confident save. That's a confident right foot out by Kai Yu Wang. China looking to break. But uh, as has happened throughout this first half, that has broken down. Last penalty corner, Sufyan. Goes for the right down angle. Kai Yu Wang makes the save and gets back up in time. I think this was the save that actually empowered Kai Yu Wang to make the other save. Soon after, it's been some good play of goalkeeping. May have been let down by defenders on a couple of occasions, but done the hard yards. This is where Pakistan have been good. They've been very creative with their passes. Late the shot was they've also gone for the long aerials, crisp defense splitting, cross field play, they've shown everything. That explains why Pakistan are in the situation that they are at the moment. Lei Meng, is it forward? Xiang Guo finds out Lei Meng. Shihao. Zishen Gao. Need to show a little more urgency now, China. Zishen Gao. Shihao. Has cut in, looks for the forward pass, but there is nobody there. Easy 16 for Pakistan. Kumar. Kumar Mukza on the right. He has been found. the ball.
ball here, Pakistan. Osama brings it back. Umar Bhuta plays it forward. It's a good vertical pass. Uh, hanging on to the ball too much, Pakistan, especially the attackers. Raz is back on the pitch, uh, there is medical tape on his uh, forehead, but it's good to see him back on the pitch. He is uh, hit by the ball, Mohamed Amar took an attempt on goal, unfortunately the ball hit him. For those joining us late, uh, he was carried out of the pitch on a stretcher, but he is back and he's back in action. and cuts in Rana, still has the ball. Come on. Circle entry, Afraz looking for a penalty corner. They don't get it. Pakistan are very advanced. What? Ahmad. Mohamed Ahmad. Should have gone to the second post, Mohamed Ahmad. Had two players waiting, just could not control his backhand. Ahmad. Not a lot of time then in this uh, first half, and uh, Pakistan have the game exactly where they want it to be. They are a goal ahead. They need this win to keep pushing up the table. Japan lost the previous game to Malaysia. Higher press from Pakistan, but unfortunately did not win the ball. That's Afraz and uh, that's the tape on his left eye. Good to see him back. Cheng Fen Chen. Small aerial. Shahid Hanan is in a good defensive position to receive that. Goes on the attack. Has Ruman in support. Shailhanan, no obstruction. Sean Rappapo is clear with what he said. He said, you've run into the Chinese player, hence there is no foul. Ahmad has worked hard to get back and be in a good defensive position, just like Shahid Hanan. Good work rate by the Pakistani team. As it is uh, only 1 0, China will feel they have a chance. Aki Lemon spreads it. It's come to Osama. Hey, I'm watching you both. No. Osama Bashir finds Sufyan. No, we both watch the ball, yeah? Only goal of the game scored by Sufyan via right that penalty corner. Correct. Last minute then of the first half. Just keeping the ball here, Pakistan. They don't need to do anything else. It's China that is trailing, not Pakistan. This is perfect for them. They have the ball exactly where they want it to be. Rana. Nothing risky. Just playing the clock down. Osama finally goes for the forward pass. China, do they have enough time to launch one final counter attack? Get the ball forward as fast as possible. I think that the clock will be run down. It is run down. The first half comes to an end and Pakistan are ahead. China will have to fight and fight hard to get back into this game. Remember, if they are to make the semi-finals, it is a must win for them. At the end of the first quarter then, via 
penalty corner. Sufyan has put Pakistan ahead and Pakistan lead China by one goal to nothing.